In this video, I'll give you a few tips on how to paint a dining chair. The first step in painting any furniture is to clean it. Paint will not adhere well to grease, grime, or food particles. I use simple green in a spray bottle and a green scrub pad to remove all the layers of buildup. After scrubbing the chair, I then wipe it off with water and a clean rag, being sure to remove all residue. Next, I use 220 grit sandpaper to lightly sand the chair. Sanding it helps to dull the surface and create a tooth for paint to adhere to. Again, I wipe the furniture clean to remove dust. Now the chair is ready for primer. I like to start with the chair upside down so I can get inside the legs. I adjust the spray pattern on my gun by turning the knob on the top of the handle clockwise. As I make the spray pattern smaller, I spray test on a piece of scrap wood. The amount of fluid the gun releases also needs to be adjusted. As the pattern gets smaller, the amount of paint released should be less. Otherwise, you will get a very heavy spray and that will cause runs in your paint job. I adjust the fluid flow by turning the second knob clockwise as well. A small spray pattern is ideal for the thin legs on this chair. Then I paint all of the legs and the bottom of the chair. I'm using Sherwin-Williams All-Purpose Primer. Then I will flip the chair right side up and paint the parts of the legs that I might have missed. Next, I paint the back of the chair and the edge of the seat. As you can see, when I'm painting the back, it creates a ton of overspray that lands all over the seat. Overspray will make the seat rough, which we don't want. What I like to do to ensure the finish is smooth on the seat is to allow the overspray to dry. Then I come back with a damp cloth and sandpaper and scrub the overspray off. I'll lightly sand to smooth the surface and then paint the seat last. You could also mask off the seat while you paint the back if you don't want the extra sanding and scrubbing. Now I'm ready to paint again. I'll adjust my spray pattern again, this time to make it larger. Last, I will paint the seat. And here the chair is with one coat of primer on it. I'll repeat this same process one more time before applying at least two layers of a top coat, sanding between all layers of paint with 320 grit sandpaper. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, please do. I have tons of furniture painting tutorials.